welcome back to my channel pigmented pod and this is your girl Devlina. this is the look that we're going to do today this is a cranberry chutney look for a thanksgiving night out tis the season so we know we have a lot of going out parties invitations to attend and we have to go and do our makeup have a lot of night looks and this is one of them i hope you like it if you can see the feature is the glitter lips right here let's jump into the tutorial hey it's makeup time and we're going to start with the primer as usual this is the primer i will be using Too faced hangover replenishing face primer this has coconut water and probiotic based ingredient and screen revivers i have moisturized my skin beforehand so it looks glowy and be ready for the makeup i'm going to take a tad bit not this much and after the primer we are going to be using Marc Jacobs coconut gel this is to give me a little glow uh, to my makeup and it'll be underneath my foundation so this is how it looks it is a very nice product it is gel this is how it looks I will be putting this on a little generously. Uh, we're going to make sure that everything is even. Yes, you are going to look like this. Like a gold statue. And after we are one done with that, done and done, I'm going to be using my favorite full coverage foundation today and that is Huda Beauty foundation. It is a fall filter foundation and you guys, this is so good. It is literally like Snapchat filter. And this is it. I will be using two shades. One is Butter Pecan, one is Macchiato because I am right in between these two shades or generally uh, oscillate between these two. So I like to mix and use me so little of this, like literally, I'm going to show you how little I'm using and you'll be amazed and the coverage it gives, oh my god, that's much. I'm going to take my damn beauty blender and dab away. And just make sure that it is seamless and it's not patchy. See how well the coconut primer shines right through the foundation. It gives you that glow and we all love glow. Once we have covered seamlessly our entire face, we will be using a loose powder. I will be using Mac Patrick Star loose powder. The other favorite loose powder like I've mentioned probably a hundred times that is Laura Mercier why am I using a loose powder that is so that my makeup stays put and it does not crease especially the eyelid because I will be going on with my eyeshadow and what the crease does it prevents a smooth application of eyeshadow very lightly dust it all over your face and once you have a beautiful canvas, we are going to go on decorate our face a little bit more. We're going to put some bronzer, some contouring, some blush, some data, some daily. For contouring, I will be using Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is in medium. This palette basically has three kinds of dark shade and three light shades pretty much to sculpt your face and these are all the colors that you need and you are covered. I'll start with using the lightest color and I'm using MAC Brush 168. A little bit around your temple. Now we're going to go for the second color which is a medium shade amongst all the brown and we're going to go deep into our ear and my hairline because we don't want any sudden color changes. A little bit around right here. And as we all know, my favorite bronzer, like always, it is MAC Bayana Bronzer. And I'm using this uh, brush Luxie 514. It's a synthetic fiber brush. And 
You see how much I've used this. It's touched a pen, but still can't get over it. We're going to go right underneath our jawline to give it more crispness. Right here. This creates an illusion of it sunk in around your face and underneath your nose. Now we will be doing our eyes and for the eyes I will be using KKW Beauty So Fire Collection. The colors are so so pretty and let me swatch them for you actually. Let me, uh, let me do justice. So starting with the lightest color it goes, it goes like this, then the other color is, I wish I could see it though, okay right here. The third color is an orange, first color is a cranberry color and it's a little frosty. The next color is bronze, coppery, right here, so it has a nice shine. This is more like a brick color, yeah. This one is again the, uh, like a copper fire color. Then we have a gold which is a very yellow gold and then we have a real dark color which is what we're going to use today for our crease so these are all the colors they're a little bit all over the place but you get the idea it has a nice mirror and nice color I love the picture right here it is so on fire so we have a lot of fire going on and we want some fire right on our eyes to get things heated up here a bit. So starting with our synthetic brush MAC 217. So starting with the eyeshadows, we will be using this color which is known as the Crater of Hecla. And take a little bit, let's see. So we go around the crease very lightly, we don't want too much pressure and work it. This color is really muted, coming down a little bit on our nose. Then we'll be using this color which is known as Lava, which is an orange rust color right in the corner, right here. I'm going to start working it. Now for today's look, I don't want to bring uh, the colors too much into the eyes because I have a cat eye kind of look in my mind. But at the same time, I do want to make the colors really rich. Just make sure that they look even. Then we're going to take the darker color, which is called Pellis Curse. I'm going to work it right here. Little, not going all over the crease, just a tad bit, and we're going to leave it right there. I want to create a V basically well now comes the fun part I will be using my MAC technical graph black which you know I love so much and I will be going on top of my lid I'm not going to draw a line if you see I'm going very close to my uh, lash line I'm basically roughly drawing little dashes See? And then with my angled brush, I'll be using MAC 266. I'll be taking that color Volcanic Haze. And with that, I will be 
drawing a cat eye at the same time smoking out the line that we just drew using our MAC craft black. It should look like this. I'm going to erase the corners a little bit and then right here I'm going to do like Line. We're going to do the same with the other eye. My craft black is really blendable as long as you are blending it right away because once it sets, it sets. It does not budge. I've used so many liners but nothing even compares to it. Then I'm going to use my shader brush 239 and I will be actually going in the light color right here let's see how it looks right here in your in the inner corner same with the other eye I'm pressing the pigment what do you think I think I like it I'm so tempted to use this gold which is so yellow I think I mean I can use a little an inner corner because this gold, I have not, this gold is so tempting. I've taken a little bit on this brush 219 which is a MAC pencil brush and I'm going to just go to the corner of my eyes. But before that we're going to again use some of that MAC Graph Black and do the same technique that we did with our top lid right here. We're going to do our eyebrows and for my eyebrows I have always used Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Chocolate and there I go. Now that we have some brows I will be setting my brow with MAC Brow Set Gel in Beguiled. It just lightens up the brow a little bit and it looks really gorgeous. Then I'll be using this color which is lava. Lava. And going underneath our eyes. On the going underneath our eyes on the lower lash line. Now that we are done with our eyes, we're gonna put some concealer. And I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. This color is in medium and right here. Brighten up my eyes a little bit. Taking my damn beauty blender again and then just going underneath it. Whatever is left in the beauty blender, I'm going to put it on my chin, the top part of my chin. Then we're going to put on some blush. For blush, I'm using color from Hourglass and it's known as Surreal Hello, which is a nice pink color. And I'm using MAC Blush Brush. Even this palette has a nice bronzer which I like to use a lot and this bronzer is Luminous Bronze Light and this bronzer is illuminating so I really like this bronzer and I love to bronze so I'm just kind of dusting it all over my face the corner of my nose for highlighter I will be using this Artist Couture highlighter is Illuminati it is a loose highlighter so always tap the top so that it, you are so you see it's always right to the brim. I really, I'm even scared to tilt it. Yes. But I'm just going to take whatever is in the cap because that is a lot. And this is a really nice highlighter. So I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. Just tap the little bit. We don't want a whole lot. So tap the little bit top and... You see that, guys? And highlighter is what I'm going to use under my brow, on the brow bow to give it a lift right here. You can use any fluffy brush for it. 
crease brush basically Woo! you see that tip off my nose lightly dusted on the bridge and I also like to put a little bit on top of my eyebrow bone and right here a little bit on the top of your cupid's bow it just raises your lip and gives it a much more profound structure and shape now we're going to start the lip which is our primary feature for today's makeup and i'm going to be using this lip liner it's a uh, Alia collection from MAC Nevermore, but you can use any dark rich burgundy wine color lip liner. And we are going to start right now. With the same lip liner, I'm going to fill up the corners. For my lipstick, I'll be using Pat McGrath lipstick in Venom 2 and it has a very fine lip and it has a very fine applicator. Then with my lip liner, I'm going to go around the corner the, but not really the center one tip for a fine application of lip liner is smile when you smile and and to have not so sharp lip liner when you have a little bit blunt lip liner and you're smiling the lip liner glides like butter it is unbelievable for today's lip, I'm going to be doing a glitter lip and it is very important that the lipstick that we are using is a little creamy. That gives a little adhesive for the glitters to hang on to your lip and not fall off. For the glitter, I'm using Pat McGrath Blood Microfine Glitter which comes in this tiny uh, container. And let me be really careful. Before. Oh, okay. It has an applicator. Made more the foam. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this somewhere with my finger. Use a tissue since your makeup's done now. So Last but not the least, like always, some Fix Plus. And we're done. So tell me what you think about this look and do this look. Share your thoughts, uh, comment on it, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon down that you are reminded every time I post a video. Hope you like it. And we will be back with another video very, 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 very soon. Now is the holiday season, so we need to step the game up. So till then, bye-bye. I love you a lot, and I'll see you.